Hello class, today we're going to do lesson 89 and that is going to be over mixed numbers and improper fractions. But before we start, start today, I would like you to get out a, white, some, a whiteboard or a piece of paper and a pencil so that when we do the, um, the practice for the lesson, you'll be ready to do the practice with me. Um, in the meantime, we're going to start with um, a little review of uh, what um, numerator and denominator means. Um, if you look at the uh, whiteboard I have up here, um, do you remember what numerator means? It's one of your flashcards. Um, give you a minute. Numerator is the top number of a fraction, and it means how many parts of the whole. And do you remember what denominator means? Denominator is the bottom number of a fraction, and it means how it means the total number of parts of the whole. So let's do a sample fraction. We're going to do four fifths, and I'm going to put the numerator in red and the denominator in green. And we are going to draw a picture of. Um, what this fraction means. So we're going to get a box going here. Let me erase that. Here we go. Okay, so four fifths. The first thing you do when you look at a fraction is you look at the bottom number, which is called the denominator. And that tells you that it, the denominator tells you how many total parts your uh, fraction has. So this number is five, which means we have five total parts of the fraction. So we're going to look at this figure. This is a rectangle, and we're going to divide it into five parts. So one part, two parts, three parts, four parts. And this is this isn't exactly equal, but we're going to number it one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so you have five total parts. That is what your, your denominator stands for, the total parts in your figure. Now, we're going to do red for this numerator here. The numerator means the how many parts you're counting in the fraction. So we're going to go, we're going to take off four parts. One, two, three, four. And that, this figure, this rectangle represents four fifths because four fifths of this rectangle is shaded. Four parts of the five are, sh are shaded. And we can, we can even do it with a, um, a circle. Okay, a little bit harder with a circle, but we will uh, try to divide it into five equal parts. Here's one part, another part. Okay, that should be five. And let's just number it. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we have five total parts for our denominator. And for our numerator, we are going to shade four. Okay. So that leaves us with one fifth. So we've shaded four fifths of this circle. Um, you can see that there. So I'm going to erase that. And we are going to put a different number in, just practice it before we go to mixed numbers and improper fractions. Um, OK, so we are going to do um, a different number. Let's do three fourths, three fourths. Okay, so let's do a circle. And let's divide, first of all, when you look at your fraction, you're going to look at your denom denominator and that's how many, whatever number you see in the, in the denominator place, that's the number of places you're, you're going to divide your, your circle, your square, whatever into, oops, that's a little messy. Okay, let's try to do this 
evenly. Okay, now your denominator tells you you have to have your circle or square or whatever figure you have divided into four equal parts. And the numerator tells you how many parts you're dividing it into. So one, two, three. So this circle represents three fourths because you can see that three of three parts are shaded out of the total of four parts. So that's three fourths. Okay. All right. So now we are going to go to the lesson. The lesson is on uh, lesson 89 is on mixed numbers and improper fractions. So first we're going to look at these two circles and I'm going to ask you how many parts is each circle divided into? Did you say two? Yes, each part is divided into two. So that means that it's going to be, oh, this, this fraction is going to be represented by, the denominator is going to be represented by a two, something, the division bar, and then under a two. Now, if we want to take both figures, we are going to, first of all, we're going to shade, because for this lesson, we're shading three of the sections of the two circles. So I have two circles, both divided into half. The denominator for these circles is going to be a two, okay, because you can see that both circles are divided evenly in two. Now let's count how many parts we have to both, both circles. We have one, two, three that are shaded, three that are shaded. We have four total that are of, we have four total uh, halves, but we, uh, but we have three that are shaded. So for the improper fraction, you're gonna write three in your numerator, because the numerator is telling you how many parts are in this total picture, okay? And this picture has two circles. One is fully shaded and one is shaded, but only half of it shaded. So the improper, an improper fraction, the, de the definition for an improper fraction is a fraction with a numerator, this is the numerator, greater or equal to the denominator. And the denominator is down here. Okay. So, and, the, and also let me show you what the fraction would look like. Let me erase, um, let me erase this part and let me show you what this figure would look like if you had, let's say you had it all like this, if you had all the uh, halves shaded, you would, let me change this number here. Your numerator would say four instead of three for the parts. This would still be an improper fraction, um, which would actually equal two, because you can see that that's two circles. Now let's go back to uh, the three, three over two, which is an improper fraction. And I'm gonna erase this bottom part. And let's actually make this a three again. Okay, so three over two is the improper fraction, but it can also be named three over two can also be named as a mixed number. A mixed number, the definition for a mixed number is a whole number and a fraction, okay? So this, I'm gonna write out mixed number for you, right here, the word mixed number. And the mixed number, we are going to show you how the mixed number 
uh, work, how we can come, how we can get the mix member. So this whole disc, this whole circle here is two over two. It's two, it's two parts over a total of two parts. Two parts are shaded and we have two parts is divided into. Now let's add it to this other circle. The other circle has two parts total. So we can write two parts total down here. That's the denominator. But how many parts are shaded? If you said one, that's correct. It only has one part shaded. So two over two, as you can see from the circle, two over two is actually the number one. It equals one. And one half doesn't change. One half stays one half. So a mixed number is a number that has a whole number. And here's your whole number, one. And it has a half, a, a fraction. A whole number and a fraction is a mixed number. And two over two is still considered an improper fraction, even though it equals one. Any number that's, that's numerator is not equal to the denominator and it's less, it's gonna be a fraction, which one over one is less than two and this is a fraction. So let's do a little practice. Now let's go over it one more time. Fractions that are greater or equal to one are improper fractions. So improper fraction will look like three over two, five over four, four over four, and yes, four over four is an improper fraction, it's just that it equals one. And uh, let's say six over five. These are all improper fractions. A mixed number, on the other hand, is a number that is a fraction that has a fraction and a whole number such as one and one half, or two and three fifths. Here is another uh, mixed number. So we are gonna go and do a little practice. So for the first, let's do this. It says, hmm, let me see, okay. We're going, to, we're going to draw three circles, and I'm going to get three circles here. Change my color. Let's go three, and three. Make this one a little bigger. Okay, we'll get the one there. Not on this side, oops. We may have to start over on this one. This one's, let me draw one more. Okay, let me see if I can make these the same size. I don't know if I can. Uh, let me see. Okay, not really the same sizes. Let's try to make those the same sizes. Okay, there's one. Let me try this. Nice that one. Okay. It's a lot easier. There we go. It's a little closer. Okay. So we have three circles, and we are going to we are going to uh, find the mixed, we're going to find the improper fraction for two and two and three fourths. So first of all, we're going to write the number two and three fourths. And 
the first thing we're going to look at when we look at a mixed number, and this is a mixed number because there's a whole number and a fraction together. We're going to look at the, um, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at the denominator. And that tells us how many parts each of these circles are going to be divided into. So let's see if I can get these as close as I can to being evenly divided by four. Okay. All right. Okay. So we have three circles and you're saying, well, why did I use three circles when they have a whole number two? And that's because you still have left over. You have more than, you're gonna need more than two circles to represent this number. So now that we have divided our, our three circles into four parts, we are going to, um, we are gonna to try to figure out how many fours are in two and three fourths. So let's, first of all, um, four fourths, let's look at the total parts and the total parts is divided into. So we know that we have one, two, three, four. And we're gonna actually shade this whole circle because we have two whole, uh, we, have a, we, have two, we have two, which is two whole circles. So here's one, two, three, four. And then we have two circles, so we're gonna shade the other circle. One, two, three, four. And then we're going to write four over four, because one plus one is two. See, four over four is one, four over four is one, that's two. Now, now we have two, one plus one is two. Now we have to take care of this three fourths. So let's shade three of the four uh, parts of the circle. Okay, so this represents two and three fourths. This is three, this is four parts total and three are shaded. Okay, so you have one plus one plus three fourths is what? Well, let's change these ones to four over four because that's what they are as fractions. Okay, so let's just count. I'm gonna change the pen to green and let's count how many fourths we have. One, two, three, four. In fact, let me do this. Let me make this a little, um, make it a little darker, but I guess we can use that. A little bolder. Five. Let's go back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay. So we have eleven fourths. 11 fourths. So two thirds is equal to, and I'm going to go back to blue, two, two and three fourths as a mixed number is equal to 11 fourths. Okay, see that? And there is, there is another way that you'll learn later how to find a, a improper fraction from a mixed number. And that little trick, I'll just tell you very quickly, is you will multiply the two, you'll multiply these two numbers. Two times eight, two times four is eight, eight plus three is 11, and that will give you the numerator and it'll be 11 over four. That is for a later lesson, but there is a way to do that. But for right now, you're going to draw your pictures. You're gonna draw, you're gonna look at your um, denominator and it tells you how many parts to draw. You're gonna look at your whole number. And of course, if you divide your, your circle, your squares or whatever into the, the amount of parts you have, 
you're going to shade out whatever whole numbers you have. So let's let's do um, let's erase this, and we are going to do some practice. Um, okay, so it says this is where you're going to need your whiteboard and your um, piece of paper and pencil. Um, you can stop the video here and go get it so that you can practice. And after I um, show you, you know, after I begin, um, give you, I tell you what the practice set, we're going to do practice set A first, practice set uh, letter A. You're going to stop the video and then see if you can do it yourself. And then I'm going to walk through the answer. So go ahead. And after I write the, um, write the instructions, I'm going to have you um, do it for me and come back. So the first on A, it tells you to draw circles to show one and three quarters is equal to seven fourths. Okay. All right. And don't forget when you're doing the problem to set it up with, um, you want to set it up with your, uh, draw your circles. So start doing that. Stop the video and see if you can um, do this problem by yourself. And if you can't, just stop, you know, go ahead and listen to the answer. But everybody else, if you want me to step it through, I'll step it through with you the first time. But if not, go ahead and stop your video and try it yourself and then come back and listen to the answer. Okay, everybody that wants to stop your video and do the problem. Uh, draw your circles representing one and three fourths equals seven fourths. And whoever is not wanting to do that wants me to step it, step through the practice with me for one. This first one, go ahead and keep listening. Okay, I am going to draw circles here. Here is one circle. Here is. We're going to have to have two circles because we have a one and we have a three quarters, okay? So you're gonna need two circles to represent um, what's going on. And let me, so first of all, I'm gonna ask you how many parts do we divide these circles into? Okay, look at the denominator. How, what number is in the denominator? Four, okay, it said four, correct? Let's divide our circles, both of our circles, into four equal parts as far as I can eat is we try to divide it in four parts as perfectly as I can. See how if I'm using my mouse. Okay, now we are going to we've divided our circles into into fours because the denominator shows us that we are going to need to do that. All right, so now we look at one and three fourths. So first of all, you know a whole circle is gonna get colored. So let's circle all four fourths, okay? And then we can see that the other circle, we're going to need to shade three of the four parts. Let's shade three of the four parts. Okay, so that's one and three fourths. Now, one and three fourths, Okay, so we're going to write one and three fourths equals, and let's count how many fourths. This is how we're going to find out what our improper fraction is. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so you have seven, you have seven total for the amount of parts that are shaded, and you have four parts that each of your figure is um, divided into. So this is actually the representation of one and three fourths is equal to seven fourths. And as I said before, you could multiply one times four um, and then add four to three, which would give you seven over four. But here you can see it in a picture. You have seven fourths, which is equal, which is your improper fraction 
uh, equaling your mixed number one and three fourths. Okay, let's do another problem. Let's do B. B. Okay. B, we are going to show two and a half, two and one half. Draw two and a half circle, two and one half circles, and show that it equals five over two. Okay. Now this time, everybody try to do this yourself. Draw your circles and look at your denominator to know how many uh, parts you divide each of your circles into and make sure that you have enough circles for two whole circles and then a half. Okay, now go ahead, stop your video, and then come back and we're going to draw the picture together. All right. Okay. Um, so if you are ready, we are going to do our circles. And let's so get this one going. Maybe not. Try another one. Okay, yay. Okay. And then one more. Okay, so we do need three circles because we are, we have two, we have more than two. We just don't, we have two and a half, two and one half. So we look at the denominator, we see that we have to draw each, we have to divide each of these circles into one half because the denominator is telling you how many parts each figure or mixed number gets divided into. Okay, so let's start shading for two. We need to, we need to shade two whole circles. So we're going to, this is just two whole circles and one half, which is one of these halves. So let's count the number. We have one, two, three, four, five. So you have Five, I didn't do that thick enough. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so you can see here that you have um, you have two you have two circle two full circles and a half. This would be two over two plus two over two plus one over two, which is one half. Two over two is one plus two over two, which is also one plus one half. And both of these both equal two and a half or the mixed number five over two. And you can see that, in fact, let me erase this real quick and I'll show you something real quick. Um, if you add the tops of these fractions, and you can only add fractions together if their denominator is the same. Do they all have twos for the, for the denominator? Yes, they do. So let's add the top. Two plus two is four. 4 plus 1 is 5, so 5 over 2. And you'll learn more about, about adding fractions with like denominators in fourth grade. And then here we just have 1 plus 1 is 2, and 2 plus 1 half is 2 and 1 half. Okay, so you see those two numbers are equal to each other. All right, let's go to C, our last practice problem. And for this problem, we're gonna draw circles again, but we're going to draw one and one third equals four thirds. Okay, now uh, I'm gonna stop, I want you to stop the video and get your whiteboard out or your piece of paper and pencil and um, Draw your circles to represent one and one third equals four thirds and 
don't forget to look at your denominator to know how many parts each of your circles needs to be divided into. Okay, go ahead, stop your video and um, come back and we'll do the answer together. All right. Okay, first of all, dollar back. So let me get my circles. So how many circles are we gonna need? We have one and one thirds. So we have one whole number and we have a part of a number. So we need two circles to do this drawing. Okay, so how many parts do, do we divide each of our circles into? You look at the numerator, yes, we need to divide each part, each of these circles into three, which looks like this. Okay, now, we know that we have um, one whole number, okay? I'm gonna erase that. We have one whole number, so that means that we're going to shade in all three parts for this one whole number. Because this one whole number is equal to three. Okay, you have three total parts down here. This is your, you erase it. Okay. Here's your division bar. We have three total parts, but we also have three parts shaded. And that is equal to one. Now we come over to this other circle and we are gonna shade three, we're gonna shade one part of the three parts that are total, total the, the, the circle is divided into. So we'll put our division bar down. We have three total parts. So we write three for the denominator and we're only shading one part. So one part goes on the top because that's your numerator. So three thirds plus one third is equal to, okay, well let's, we can add this together because our denominators are both the same. So three plus one is four and your denominator doesn't change, it stays the same. So you have four parts over three total parts that each circle is divided into. Now let's, Right, let's add this together as a number. Three over three is one, plus one third is equal to one and one third. Okay, so you can see that um, this one and one third, this mixed number, which is a whole number in a fraction, is equal to this improper fraction which is a numerator bigger than or equal to its denominator, which is four over three. And I am going to just write one, two, three, four, so you can see, you, so you can see, for some reason I want to go there, you can see four over three. Okay. Um, well, we're through with the lesson, and um, we are going to do lesson 90 tomorrow and a little bit of review for your test, um, your test 17. So have a great day, and I hope you're getting outside and playing in some of this wonderful um, sunshine and cool air. Have a great day.